Hello and welcome to my Skyrim game. I'm uh, doing a quest, Walking Nightmare. It's it's a fun quest. Uh, I love all the quests, but this one I, I like a lot. And uh, you get a follower at the end if you want. Helplessly watching but, them suffer is being uh, difficult. You meet Erander. Um, Just yesterday, I saw a musician in the street playing a flute. That hill is it was and, uh, beautiful. People around here call it. Everyone's oh, having a dog. bad dream, and I'm not familiar and with gone, so everyone's having problems, nightmares. But it was deserted for quite a long time before Nightcrawler so Temple was established. You meet a and, and he when the temple was knows active, how to the fix this problem. Be seen in Dawnstar. They preferred to live a solitary existence. The temple's been abandoned for decades now. Ironic, isn't it? A ruin within a ruin. There's a small shrine to Mara I established inside the tower's entry hall. I was hoping to seek spiritual guidance from her. Perhaps my prayers were answered, and your reason for stumbling across Dawnstar is more than a mere coincidence. With the soldiers all fighting in the war, oh, there's nobody to hunt down the bandits. Travel has become dangerous of late. High definition. Uh, texture packs that are available on the Nexus. And like I said, we don't need ENV anymore. It's not worth the frame rate per second drop to have something that somewhat controls lighting. It really adds nothing to textures. Just changes the lighting effects and the frame drop per second, the frame rate drop per second is just not worth it to me. If the game looks great just from the stock Bethesda HD there are texture a lot of these days. The war keeps but, people off the roads. Uh, there are many other texture packs that even outdo that, which I have installed. And um, I have. It's not uh, easy being a woman in Skyrim. I, I I enjoy the game without the added EMB effect. I do use EMB like I mentioned before for the memory patch. That's all I use it for. Lucky for you, I possess a forgiving nature and am not easily insulted. <laughs> I love having a lot of followers, as you can see. No choice. They just they go nuts. I just love watching them go nuts on my enemies. See if I can get a cool reaction. This this thrall here, this dead thrall, I actually made a lot. Huh? Let me mention that. What? Oh, that felt nice. <laughs> but now she reacts like she's alive. And not just a zombie just dead thrall, I saw a which in the I like you playing more. flute. It was beautiful. My giantess dead thrall. She's also aware now. <laughs> it's not easy being a woman in Skyrim.
And of course, my character is mini giants. I'm not sure that it's news, but lately it seems like every blacksmith in Skyrim is out to prove that he's the equal of Yorland Greymane. My character is an Orion from Star Trek, if you remember those characters, the Orion slave girls. Anyway, her ship crash landed here, and now she's stuck in Skyrim. I'm sure after watching all my videos, you know Sailing K is my very most favorite follower. You're getting pretty good at this dragon fighting business. Hmm. Okay. The Milkmaid mod is running, as you can see. I must warn you. Keep her dress down to a manageable size. Years ago, this temple was raided by an orc war party seeking revenge. They were being plagued by nightmares, just like the people of Dawnstar. We're going to do a quick save. all sorts of crazy things happen uh, with as many scripts as I have running we can walk to that door and everything will just go black back to the desktop before we enter I must warn you about the dangers that could be lurking within years ago this temple was raided by an orc war party seeking revenge they were being plagued by nightmares, just like the people of Dawnstar. No. Knowing they could never defeat the orcs, the priests of Vermina released what they called the Miasma, putting everyone to sleep. I'm concerned that when this place is unsealed, the Miasma will dissipate and they'll awaken, both orcs and priests alike. Once we get inside, all will become clear. <laughs> the armor took care of saving Kate too. Special armor, you have to make it, actually. Equip it. Any any type of armor that you like. I really like how the hide armor looks on the female form at Skyrim. It just, I like it.
quite a list of spells, don't I? Give me just a moment, and I'll have this mm -hmm. open. Okay, this is gonna interfere with my gameplay. They had to switch on it. So basically, there's a spriggan that lives within the armor, or a spriggan uh, soul. And it feeds on the milkmaid's milk. Oh. Yes, I'm thinking that's what's going on. Since this is the first time that I've actually created one of these armors. And I just didn't think about it when I made the video, but there's no nipples showing. <laughs> so. I'm within community guidelines. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's just check the inventory. If the spriggan soul is consuming it, then there won't be any milk. Hmm. I think all this is already. So, as you can see, each one of these milks have properties that are useful in the game. Of course, the more exotic the milk is, the more properties and the more powerful it is. She registers as a succubus. Anyway, so much for a milk mod economy. Now I can show you the source of the nightmares. Over here. Behold the skull of corruption, the source of Dawnstar's woes. We must reach the inner sanctum and destroy it. Come. There's no time to lose. So, that's our goal. This may be a long video, so I'll probably do it in two parts. And, you know, it, it's kind of annoying when the... The one that's doing the video is constantly walking instead of running. <laughs> it just makes it that much longer. Yeah, fight a dun damn it. Priests must have activated this barrier when the miasma was released. Impossible, actually. Hmm. I wonder. There may be a way to bypass the barrier. But I must check their library and confirm it can be done. I suppose there's no point in concealing the truth any longer. My knowledge of this temple comes from personal.